Hello, friends. Uh, in today's talk, we are going to troubleshoot an application which, which has gone unresponsive. So that's what we're going to be discussing today. And uh, this is an application which was running on a Java 8 or 8 and also with the WebLogic server. So all of a sudden, this application went unresponsive. So we are going to see how we go went about troubleshooting and identifying the root cause of this application. Okay. So let me share my screen. So this application, all of a sudden, it, it became unresponsive, right? So what we did, whenever you, uh, your application goes unresponsive, it can be because of uh, several different reasons. Maybe there is a uh, garbage collection running repeatedly in the background, or maybe your threads are getting into a blocked state, or there is a network connectivity issue, or there is a CPU starvation, or there's a memory const uh, constraints. It could be any reason. So whenever these sort of problem happens, it is ideal that you want to capture a 360 degree data. That is all the troubleshooting artifacts as much as you can capture, you want to do, capture them so that the analysis and troubleshooting becomes a lot more easier. So here there is this open source script called as a YC data script, which is available in the GitHub. So when you trigger this script, this script is going to capture us a 360 degree data. So basically it captures us 16 different artifacts from a complete application stack. So it captures a garbage collection log, thread dump, heap dump, top, D message, IO stat, VM stat, net stat, all these artifacts it captures. And you can, you can once it's captured, you can either analyze these artifacts manually or there are some toolings that you using which you can uh, uh, analyze them, right? So we triggered this script against this uh, sick process then which was unresponsive. So we captured all the bundle data, all these data was captured. And then uh, we analyzed it using this Ycrash server, right? Once you uploaded the dump to Ycrash server, the Ycrash server analyzes and it generates a root cause analysis report. Instantly it generates it. So here, this is what it was saying. Uh, so here it was pointing some errors related to the threads in that application, right? So here is that uh, thread analysis report. This report has multiple sections, but what you want to be focusing on is where, where it puts this warning icon or the danger icon. That's what you want to be looking at. See, see here there is a section called last executed methods. Okay? So th this is the, when you take a thread, this shows what are all the methods that was at the last moment when the thread dump was captured, what, what were the methods that threads were executing? So it shows th th there is this section. So here it is reporting that 46% of the threads in this application was executing this method. At the time when you capture the thread, 46% of the threads were executing this method. So it is pointing out this can be a suspicion that this may cause the slowness in the application. So that's what the tool is reporting. So when we uh, click here, right? Here it shows the stack trace of all those 87 threads here. So this is what it is. See, from here I can see, this is an, uh, uh, the application runs on a WebLogic server. You can see the WebLogic server. So, and then it goes on. And then if you see this thre thread is making in from WebLogic, it is starting to make an Oracle JDBC driver, right? It is trying to connect with an Oracle database. So that's what it's doing. You can see the WebLogic from here, it, it's making a call to Oracle database. So it is going through this Oracle database driver. It's opening up the connection. And now it is, it is stuck waiting for response from the Oracle database, right? So like this, it's not just this one thread. There are 86, 87 threads, which is almost like a 40 plus percentage of threads, which were stuck waiting for response from the Oracle database. So typically for this application, like 40 plus percentage of threads will not make a call to the Oracle database. It's a very high count because this, this WebLogic server talks with multiple system of record. So it can't be concentrated on just one particular uh, database. So it is getting evident, maybe there is a slowdown in the Oracle database, right? Since there is a slowdown in the Oracle database, all the threads are going and then they're getting stuck. 40 plus percentage of threads are getting stuck, waiting for the response from the Oracle database. So that's what this seems to be indicating, okay? Okay, so now, not only this, 
There is also an, another section in this thread dump analysis report, uh, what it's called as a flame graph, right? So this is a flame graph. So this flame graph, what does it do? Is it consolidates all your threads and then presents it as one single flame graph. That is your, your application may have like um, several hundreds of threads. All those hundreds of threads has been consolidated and presented as this one single flame graph. So this application seems to be like having 191 threads. That all the 191 threads code execution stack trace has been consolidated and then presented in this kind of a flame graph. You can see here how to read this, how to interpret this flame graph. See, here the thread starts. You know, in this method, weblogic work execute thread run method, there were 96 threads were executing this method. So from here, the threads are progressing and then going. So when it comes to this point, there's only 14 threads working on this tower in the flame graph, right? And then remaining some other threads starts to work on this particular tower. So that like that, the threads get spread out. If you see at the tips, that is at the top point of the flame graph, this shows where, uh, when, you, when you capture the thread dump, where the threads were executing. So here I can see in this tower, this method, the file dispatcher read IO ample, there's 14 threads are, are waiting or executing this method. If I come down here, I can see all these 14 threads are originating from this Oracle JDBC driver, right? So it is going on. If you see where this is being originated, this is my application code. It is upload a servlet on workflow update. So this is where it started. From here, it started to make an Oracle call and when it went on, it got stuck here. Now let's look at the another tower. If you look at this, this is a different tower. In this tower, if you see, there are nine threads which started working on a different method on the same upload server. So they were also starting to make an Oracle call and they are also getting stuck here. Not only is there are several end tips if you see in this flame graph, they are all stuck. Let's look at this tower. This is also that uh, same, the sun NIO file dispatcher IMPL read method. There are six threads. Uh, stuck here, waiting for Oracle. If you see, this is an Oracle connection. But when trying to make an Oracle connection, it's getting stuck. Similar is the story here also. The Oracle connection, it's getting stuck. So, yeah, see, friends, there is this famous uh, uh, proverb, European proverb, right? Which says, all roads lead to Rome. So similarly, it doesn't matter like which part of your code, um, it, so here it's going through one upload servlet and here it's going through uh, some other action, right? It doesn't matter. Or finally, they end up getting stuck in making a call to Oracle database, right? So that all roads leads to Rome. That's what similarly, when there's a slow, slowdown happening in your database, it doesn't matter which channel or which uh, function of your application goes, finally, they end up going and getting stuck, waiting for the response from a database. See, let do, let's do one more thing. Uh, say, let's search for this. Uh, I can search for this one. Let's say I can say read zero, right? Uh, some method that what I want to search. So if I do that, you can see wherever that read zero is being invoked, it's all going to be highlighted in this purple curl. If you see all the tips of this uh, flame graph, they are all highlighted with this purple color, right? Multiple area. This is indicating finally, it ends up with this purple color, right? So this is the purpose of this uh, search functionality. So it is very clearly indicating from, the, from this flame graph and as well as from the last executed method that all the threads are getting stuck waiting for the response from the Oracle database. So then when we reached out to the Oracle database administrator, he acknowledged, yes, there was some resource constraints on the Oracle rack cluster. So due to which, the transactions were slowing down. Since the, the SQL transaction was slowing down, that was cascading in the slowness in this web application as well. So that was causing the unresponsiveness in this application, right? So that turned out to be the root cause. So any uh, questions on this, what I'm showing now? Or uh, is it making sense? No questions. Okay, how about others in the call? Any no questions? Question? I have one question in plain graph. Sure. So, 
Mm. So in this flame graph, I want to understand why this uh, orange and green and red symbol indicates. Okay. So Umayal, do you want to answer that question? Do you know that answer? Do you want to answer it? No, Ram, no. Okay. Okay, Over. that's fine. Okay. <laughs> See, this this is just a color coding to indicate what packages it belongs to, right? That's all. So here, this package start with web logic so if you see all the web logic has this uh, very dark color and uh, this if you see this oracle package it has a different color so this xxx i masked the package name since i don't want to identify i revealed identity so the this is our code right uh, or this customer's code right which starts like this so it is just what package it shows like this in different colors so that's all it means Okay. okay did it answer yeah. okay yes okay good okay okay good okay so thank you friends for watching this uh, video clip uh, appreciate everyone's time i will connect with you in another interesting kind of this troubleshooting session thank you